of the AB de Villiers, is that what you say? Um, where do I start? There's, there's a lot. Um, look, even what you saw tonight is with, from AB de Villiers alone is uh, as good a batting as you'll, as you'll ever see. Uh, it, it didn't look like he was really taking a risk at all throughout his whole innings. Um, even a couple of shots that he played, the one six that he played off the back foot um, over cover, it's an incredibly tough shot to play and he just does it with so much ease. Um, it's uh, just, it really is just a pleasure to be able to watch him and now to be able to be, to be in his team as well. He just, like I said, he just doesn't, doesn't look like he's taking a risk at all. He just reads the bowler incredibly well, executes his um, shots incredibly well as well. And as I said, it really is just, I think we're just very privileged to be able to witness what we did um, again tonight from AB. Um, look, my, my take on it anyway is obviously the back end of um, last year or last season for, for RCB, um, the, when Chris, it was Chris and, and Vera and, and AB batting one, two and three, they certainly got some incredible momentum from that moment um, onwards. So, uh, and yeah, in the end, they made the they beat, beat, beat Rajasthan in the elimination final and yeah, made it until um, th a fair way into the finals as well. So, obviously that that batting order. Uh, and just gathered a lot of momentum. So, looking at them, why would they change that when they had so much success with the, the top three doing so well? Um, so, look, in the end, I'm very happy to fit in, fit in wherever and hopefully uh, contribute wherever I possibly can, uh, batting, at, you know, batting at number four. But you know, just knowing from, from last year with Rajasthan, as soon as those top three guys were facing all the balls, you knew you had to take early wickets, otherwise you're in deep trouble. And that's exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, look, I've well, I played against him last year, but then seeing him even in the practice matches that we that we had here in the lead up to this first game, um, he's just an incredibly talented young man. And there's no doubt that he's worked extremely hard. The shots. The control that he has over um, where the ball goes is something I've never seen before for someone so young, even you know, throughout, you know, and even the most experienced guys. The control that he has where he picks um, where the bowl is going to bowl and then also his execu execution shows that he has practised a hell of a lot. Um, and talking to him over the last week or so, I, can, you know, I know the reason why he's got all that, that you know, incredible sh array of shots because... He obviously practices a lot since he was a young young guy. All different shot options to all different types of bowlers, and we saw it tonight. He's it's incredible. It's incredible that a young guy can do can can do things like that, and that's just the beginning of what he can do. The good thing is we've got quite a few main batsmen <laughs> at RCB, so um, and it's not going to be on you know, everyone's day every single time. So and that's an incredible strength that we have at, at RCB with our with our batting lineup. You know we saw AB and, and Virat you know bat incredibly well tonight. Um, next next game it's going to be Chris's Chris's turn, and then we've got Safraz, we've got um, Kida Yadev as well. Um, just as a, as a starting point with the, you know, the quality of batsmen that we have. So um, I think we're very, very fortunate here at RCB to have the depth um, and such you know, world-class depth as well. Well, their stand it was just, as I said about AB de Villiers, just to be able to actually witness that batting was was incredible. Just the control that both of them had. You know, Virat took a little while to really, you know, to get his innings really going. He obviously played some incredible shots, but then once he once he just gets going, gets a couple of you know boundaries, you know, the array of shots that he can play as as well is just a 
you know, privilege to be able to watch it, to be able to witness that you know, quality of batting. It's, it's as good as you'll ever see. So look, at, at one stage, I was thinking I wasn't going to bat, which I was pretty happy with as well because we were going to get 2.30, 2.40 with that. So if those two guys stayed in right until the end. But um, look, I said in the end, I'm just very happy to be here at RCB. It's a, it's a great franchise, the quality of um, players that we have. I'm just happy to be able to try and fit in wherever wherever my you know, opportunity arises. Yeah, more than more than anything, it's a it's a really nice feeling to have a home crowd. Um, for Rajasthan, the last well, two or three years. We haven't had a home ground. You know, we we never played it um, in Jaipur, um, which we had a lot of success there, and the fans were were incredible there. So the thing that really stood out to me the most today, even driving to the ground, and hit in, and in the ground while we're playing, is the incredible support that RCB have. And um, I said it's a it's a really nice feeling to be a part of such a strong um, strong franchise with support that the franchise gets, and the quality and caliber of players as well as privilege to be involved with so um, you know, if it wasn't going to be with um, Rajasthan Royals like I had for the previous um, eight years you know, I'm very thrilled to be here at RCB. Last door. Shane, uh, on a lighter way, how was it going with Chris Gaines? Very good so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we've, we've had a couple of um, commercials together as well um, in the lead up to this first game so it's given us a little bit of downtime just to be able to get to know each other a little bit better again um, after obviously a few run-ins that we've had um, in the past so it's amazing how the world works but um, seeing a different side to Chris instead of just playing against him um, is, is just a really nice thing and that's the beauty of the, the game of cricket and the opportunities that you know, I'm so fortunate to have playing in different franchises and different teams around the world to get to play against some of your um, arch enemies and certain people we've had some run-ins with throughout the time so it's actually, yeah, it's a really nice thing. Last one, Chito. Shane, Hyderabad were basically for one when you were gone about when you were gone about. That's been the, was there a feeling that you know, actually changed the score down and uh, did not get him off the field? Oh, look, there's no doubt with Dave Warner and hitting him hitting the ball as well as he going to be very dangerous if he keeps going. He, he's someone who could get 150 in a, in a in the 2020 game, there's no doubt. The, the quality of um, batsman that he is against all different types of bowling. Um, so there's no doubt I knew how important it was to be able to try and get Dave Warner out, which is a tough task when he's going like that. So I suppose I just got, got fortunate that one, my ball wasn't a no ball. It's very close to the front line, which is a bit nerve wracking for a little bit. But um, yeah, once we got Dave out, we knew we could had more chance to be able to squeeze the the Sunrisers team, and especially with Owen Morgan coming in a little bit later, it meant that you know the, their real firepower and their class firepower was left quite late, which worked into our hands nicely. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, guys.